So all I did was unfriend Jeremy Prophet and Hannibal. To use the words of uh, Laddie Poffo, who hates us both, apparently, there's a lot of scoundrels in professional wrestling. Hmm. Indeed, there is. Indeed. Now, I have to ask you about this, this came out and... Uh, Apparently, according to Landy, I, I'm absolutely broke, even though for the past four months I was able to pay all my bills in Canada and spend 5000 a month living expenses, living in the U.S., plus have investments on top of that. But according to Lanny, I'm broke, and he hates both of us. And what do you think of his latest uh, cry for attention with that? Uh, I say, you know, God bless him. Lanny is going to be on a short list of people that I like. I have the utmost respect for. If he doesn't like me, I mean, he can take that to his grave. That's fine, Lanny. God bless you. I like you. I enjoyed our times together. Um, enjoyed our matches together, which which maybe you didn't like as much. But I, I definitely enjoyed them. I'd encourage all you people to go out there and, uh, you know, check them out on the Hannibal TV. I think they were great matches. If he doesn't want to like me, he doesn't want to like you. Hey, he can he can take that to his grave and be bitter. But you know, I got no ill will towards him, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about it. Yeah, I, I just found it weird that you you probably know when the last time I talked to him it had to have been around 2012 ish, and like he hasn't talked to me for about nine years, yet he seems to know me well enough to be able to say on the record um, what my finances are like. Yeah, it's, it's a strange thing to comment on because, I mean, you built your, first of all, you put on some of the biggest shows in all of Canada, uh, huge budgets of talent. I mean, if you look up shows like the Super Show that you did in Ottawa uh, or those shows that we did in Thunder Bay, I mean, those shows weren't cheap. The arenas weren't cheap. The talent wasn't cheap. There was absolutely nothing cheap about those shows. And, uh, you know, Lanny, Lanny was on quite a few of those, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I had the privilege of being on a couple, and those were top-level shows. Take it from a guy who's done well over a 1,000 matches on the independent scene. You don't get shows like that pretty often. I mean, if you get even one of those shows in a calendar year, it's nothing short of a miracle. But uh, you funded those. You, you took the risks. The money must have come from somewhere. Uh, you funded your channel. And you've been able to be a successful self-made man. So I think that that's something very admirable and uh, definitely not something that would be, you know, cheap and, and of someone who's broke. You know, you don't see you going out there making any GoFundMes and, you know, asking people for money. No, I've never done that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.